Hello and welcome to part two of the Taxidermy Trophy Heads and Paper Mache series. Today we're going to be paper macheing the base. First, write your name and class number on a scrap of paper. This little name tag will be paper macheed to your project at the very end of class. Next, you're going to need to create a large pile of newspaper strips. You want your newspaper strips to be approximately one inch wide and four to six inches long. But don't worry, I don't expect you to actually measure these. I find that newspaper tears more easily in one direction than in another, so experiment with tearing different ways. Look how easy it was for me to tear that long strip. So find the way that it tears best for you. Once you have a little pile of strips for yourself or maybe for your whole table, put the newspapers aside and get out your paste. We're going to share these containers of paste. This is just Elmer's paper mache art paste that's mixed up and then put into these separate containers. This paste cleans off really easily. It's really just like glue. The consistency is kind of thin and runny, but it really does the job well. All right, you can see what I'm doing is I'm dipping my fingers into the container of paste and then I'm putting the paste onto the newspaper strip. I'm putting the strip on top of my base and cup. So I'm actually running the strip from the cup or the neck of the animal down to the base and then around the back. I'm going to cover this entire thing front and back with at least two coats of paper mache strips. So you're gonna cover the whole thing eventually. What I like to do is put the strips in different directions. Look here on how now I'm putting a strip around the cup or around the neck. This helps to secure the strips down. So as you're going, really think about that. How can you layer the strips in different directions to help them stay down better? For this entire class, you are going to work on layering as many paper mache newspaper strips onto your base and neck as possible. Again, try to get at least two layers on, but if you can do more, add more layers. It's going to make it more sturdy. Just watch your edges. You do want to carefully fold those newspaper strips around the sides. You want to make sure you cover the back and don't overdo it with the paste. Your project should never be dripping. It shouldn't be overly soggy. It should, it should feel secure. No pieces of newspaper should be hanging off, flopping off, or sticking to the table or to anything else. All right, so I'm going to skip ahead now. I've already placed on two layers of newspapered strips, so I'm ready to put on my name tag. At the end of class, you're just going to paper mache on that name tag that you wrote out at the very beginning of class. You're going to stick it to the neck of your project and then listen for directions as to where you should put your project to dry. Surprisingly, cleanup is quite easy with this kind of paper mache paste. Close up your container, put the containers where you're directed, and then clean off your table with a dry paper towel. Do not add any water to your paper towel. Using a dry paper towel, just dry off the paper mache paste and you are good to go. Please follow directions. Paper macheing is so much fun, but everyone needs to work together.